That's Josh, that's the skitter that you're going to be riding in. Efforts by Europe to go green and move away from coal have the US logging industry seen green, and lots of it, in the form of revenue and jobs. The journal's Iyanthi Dugan is here to explain. So, welcome Iyanthi, nice to have you on, on board. Um, you recently visited one of these logging sites in North Carolina. Tell us what you saw down there. I did. So, um, so a big paper mill closed and you know that's happening all over mm -hmm. the country so these people were laid off and business has gone way down but a new business is booming and it's the creation of pellets mm. which are these um, sort of ground up uh, really compressed pieces of wood that you burn for fuel. Right. And, and this is, a lot of it's going to Europe, I understand. That's and, and right. tell us so, why. It seems a bit of a twist that's because right. uh, it's not necessarily coming from the usual sources. So it's an environmental push mm. in Europe. So they have these uh, new goals to reduce their emissions. Right. And so a lot of... Um, the pellets on screen there just so we can that's have right. see it. Yeah. So that's what's replacing coal. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so this is supposed to be better for the environment than coal. But, uh, but down south, all of these trees are being cut down, so mm. some environmentalists are getting concerned it, 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 about well, that, it, it, but it's, it's it seems also like creating I read this jobs. And thought, you know, come on, this is a little bit kind of ridiculous. You've got, Europe has stricter rules on what can be uh, done in terms of forests and, and clear felling right. towards the United States, and that somehow allows Europeans to therefore be you know, environmentally friendly in their production by taking it from the U.S. Mm -hmm. How does this contradiction they do. hold They up? have fewer uh, trees and more restrictions mm. protecting what trees they have. So they're hiring companies here to chop down trees here to turn into pellets to right. ship there. And, uh, and, and the forests that they're you know, cutting here are, you know, they're not using big old right. you know, hardwood trees to make pellets. Forests. They're using the limbs of the trees and the smaller mm -hmm. trees and the pieces that aren't going to be made into lumber or furniture. Hmm. But still, it is sort of um, an ironic twist. Right. I mean, if, of course, you know, cutting trees itself has a problem in terms of CO2 emissions, you would think that that would be an issue. But how big is the difference between you know, what they're burning in terms of these pellets and, and coal? Is there a, a big carbon saving there? Well, that is sort of debated. Mm -hmm. So there are some people who say that, you know, coal is the worst thing that you can burn. We have mm. to get away from this. And these um, pellets are, you know, better for the environment, but they're, you know, but that is still being debated. And in fact, um, Europe is still ironing out its rules and regulations around that. Mm. So it's sort of this period of time where things are kind of in flux, and the pellets are going overseas by the uh, tons. Mm. So for the U.S., you know, North Carolina, you've pointed to other other places as well that could benefit in terms of revenue to be generated from this. Well, North Carolina is um, full of these trees. There's a lot of forests there and a lot of newer forests. Um, so they replant, they regenerate, they regrow. Um, but um, there aren't other places in the world that are, you know, where this is going on as, as much because there are restrictions against endangered mm -hmm. trees and such. And, um, and the rules here are a little easier. Are we likely yes. to see you know, the, the similar sorts of plants being created here in terms of electricity plants, or is it? Uh... Well, it could be. There, right now, a lot of the focus is on the south. Mm -hmm. um, we may see some more move up north, where mm -hmm. paper plants have closed and we have a lot of wood. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I think the pellet industry is booming, mm -hmm. and the um, pellet makers are, you know, opening up plants. And there's actually some European companies looking to come here and open plants directly rather than import. Okay, well thank you so much for that thank and you. thank you for the video that you, sh that you shot that can be seen online. We appreciate your time, Anthony.